Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, short presentation on using Visual Studio 2012, the uh, release candidate. I downloaded the software this morning and I think it looks pretty cool. So I want to share with you my uh, first Hello World application. So let's get started. Let's go to File, select New, select Project. Then we get a host of templates. Uh, which are installed on my uh, system. In this case, I'm using Visual C Sharp and I want to use the Windows Forms uh, applications. So I will select Windows Forms and I change the name to something more like Hello World. And I click OK. And after a few seconds, actually, notice how fast the response time is, which is pretty cool. And on the left hand side, there is a toolbox which is not visible. In that case, I simply click on it and click on the pin to make it visible all the time. Uh, in that case, the designer area here uh, pushes to the right hand side, which makes the toolbox visible and still leaves enough space for us to work on the designer interface. Uh, this is uh, actually a complete application at this point, so we can go ahead and run it by clicking on the Start button. And there we go, so this is our application. And the first thing I notice is that the Form 1 is the default one. I usually want to change the defaults to something that's more uh, meaningful. So in this case, since I'm writing the Hello World application, I will change the name to my first application. So let's right click and select properties and that takes me directly to the text property which is the one i'm interested in changing so let's make this one my first application Oops, uh, application of course i want to type it correctly and hit enter on my keyboard and the change is immediately reflected on the form itself uh, so again, uh, as a practice of programming, uh, you should always uh, write some code and then run your application just to make sure you have not broken anything uh, in the process. Uh, obviously, we haven't done anything major to break anything, but just part of the practice, let's go ahead and click on the Start button just to see that we still have my application reflecting what I expected to see which is my first application as the uh, title of the form. Uh, I can either uh, X to close the form or I can click on the stop debugging button to go back to the coding. So in this case what I want to do is I want to just uh, put a button on the on the form so I go on the left hand side and double click on the button and that's going to show up at the top left side of the form but I want to make it a little bit in the middle in the middle so uh, there you go and again I want to change the button one into something more meaningful so I right click on the button and click properties and again as you can see it takes me directly to the text property and let's say say hello as the title of the button and then hit enter on my keyboard and as you can see the changes are reflected so now let's actually let's run it again just for fun in this case and just to see that nothing is broken also you can see that if i click on say hello nothing happens because i have not written any code that handles the clicking of this button and that's exactly what we're going to do next so let me stop the program and to add the code that handles the clicking of this button, I'm going to double click on the button itself. And that takes me to an area where I can put my code that's going to respond to the clicking of the button. And as you can see, the button was initially labeled button one. And an interesting uh, observation is that whatever initial value is given to the controls in which in this case a button is a control whatever value is given to these controls becomes part of the name so 
let me just write a message here so I'm gonna say message box and to select it I can use the down arrows as you can see to move up and down in this case I want to select the message box and then I if I hit space on my keyboard it's gonna complete the uh, text for me and then open uh, sorry so what I want to do is want to show the message so it selected the message and then hit space on my keyboard open the parentheses and in this case as you can see it's expecting me to enter a text string if I go down there are 21 options that we can use or 21 variations of this show and in this case I would simply use uh, one of them and I'm moving by clicking the down and up arrows to select the variation I want to use in this case I'm just using the first one so I'm just gonna say hello world and close the parentheses and semicolon and I'm done <clears throat> as you can see at the top here there are the designer view and there is the code view so by switching back and forth between those I can see the form or if I want to look at the code I can do that as well so let me save all and click let me go back to the form here and click start to run the application obviously it doesn't really matter if you are on the code or on the designer to start or to execute the application and here we go with the say hello and when I click on it I see the message that I typed in in the uh, controller. If I click OK, it goes away, and if I stop the application, we are done and we are back to the uh, designer interface. So that's it for this application. Thank you for watching and uh, bye.